Hey everyone, Ashton here with SMNP Reviews. I'm a family and emergency nurse practitioner and today we're tackling common pediatric musculoskeletal conditions. To explore this topic in more detail, be sure to check out our review courses. And also don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on our latest video. First up is Oscar-Schlatter disease, a common cause of knee pain in active adolescents, especially during growth spurts. This condition is often linked to sports involving repetitive knee stress, so things like soccer, basketball, or gymnastics, and it presents with pain and swelling at the tibial tuberosity, and it's aggravated by running, jumping, or kneeling. Treatment involves rice therapy, so rest, ice, compression, and elevation, over-the-counter analgesics, and activity modification. But the good news here is that it typically resolves as the child completes their growth spurt. Next, let's briefly review some commonly confused disorders of the hip. These include leg calf purse disease, toxic synovitis, and developmental dysplasia of the hip, or DDH. Leg calf purse disease is caused by temporary loss of blood supply to the femoral head, leading to bone tissue death. Symptoms include hip pain, stiffness, a limp, and reduced range of motion. And this condition requires a referral to orthopedics for treatment, which may include rest, physical therapy, or even surgery. Toxic synovitis is a self-limiting inflammation of the synovial membrane, often following a viral illness. It presents with sudden hip pain, a limp, and occasionally a low-grade fever, and treatment involves rest and analgesics. Developmental dysplasia of the hip is caused by abnormal hip joint development, often detected during infancy. Risk factors include breach presentation and family history. Screening tests include Ortolani and Barlow maneuvers, and the treatment often depends on age. In infants, treatment may involve the use of a harness or brace to stabilize the hip joint, and in older children or adults, treatment may include physical therapy, pain management, and surgical intervention. Next, let's try a practice question. A 13-year-old patient with obesity presents with limping, thigh pain, and limited range of motion in the hip. What is the most likely diagnosis? Is it A, leg calf purse disease, B, slipped capital femoral epiphysis or skiffy, C, Oscar Schlatter disease, or D, developmental dysplasia of the hip or DDH? The correct answer is B, slipped capital femoral epiphysis or skiffy, which is a condition that occurs when the femoral head slips off the neck of the femur, typically in obese or rapidly growing adolescents, and symptoms include hip or thigh pain, limping, and limited range of motion. Next, let's review genuvarum and genuvalgum. Genuvarum is a condition that causes the knees to angle outward, creating a noticeable gap when standing with the feet together. You may also hear it referred to as bow-legged, and it's common in toddlers and typically resolves by age two or three as children grow. With genuvalgum, which is also known as knock knees, the knees angle inward. So think of gum making those knees stick together to remember this one. Genuvalgum is most often seen in children ages three to five, and it typically resolves by age seven or eight. Now, both of these conditions are considered normal during certain developmental stages of childhood, and in many cases, they will correct themselves as the child grows and the skeletal system matures. However, severe or persistent cases may require further evaluation to rule out underlying conditions or to consider interventions such as bracing or surgery. There's so much more to learn about pediatric musculoskeletal conditions for your exams. So if you're ready for a deeper dive, definitely check out our review courses. Also, if you're looking for a free community of fellow students prepping for boards, be sure to join our Facebook group and links are in the description. Here are my references. And that wraps up this video. So be sure to subscribe to our channel and check out our other videos. You are so close to becoming a real deal NP. We are rooting for you.